two of the speedies that I started the other day. They have been marinating in with the uh, spices and the oil and the lemon juice. Like I said, at least 24 hours, but three to five days if you can, because the meat really absorbs all the flavor of the, the oils and the spices. So I am getting every, all the other veggies ready to put on the skewers. Traditionally, for making these, especially up in, up in Bingham from New York, they just put meat. Then once the meat is done, they put that on. You can use a whole you bun or Italian bread. Uh, put the bread in your hand, put the skewer in the middle of the bread, and then just slide the meat off. Meat sandwich. There you go. Since I do it more sort of like shish kebab type thing, I am putting, uh, these are green peppers from our garden. I have some nice white button mushrooms and some tomatoes. So these button mushrooms are rather large, so I'm cutting them in half. I did not wash them. I do not wash my mushrooms. They are so porous and absorb water or broth. I just take a, a paper towel and wet it and wipe them off. So if anybody ever comes to my house and eats a mushroom, you don't know how they how they were cleaned. I also have some in the pantry that are canned. I just lost that stem. But those won't work for, for this. I like those. I put them in my spaghetti sauce when I make like Johnny Marzetti or, or spaghetti sauce or something like that. So just, just the two of us for dinner tonight. So I have six skewers that have been soaking in water. The reason you soak the wood skewers in water is so they don't just catch on fire and burn up. They will get charred because they are wood, but they won't catch on fire. Should not catch on fire. Let me put that. So I, I'm going to go ahead and put everything started here. I don't know if... And I just lost a tomato. I'm batting a thousand. I'll grab that one later. I think I'm going to end up cutting these in half because that's just too big for one skewer. So I'll cut these in the half. Taste it. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Tomatoes are halved. Green pepper, mushrooms. Let's get this ball rolling. Before I get my hands all greasy in this, I would like to just sort of show you that if anyone is interested, I do have um, walking onion bulbets for sale. All I ask, if you want any, if you, you pay for postage, it would be $3.50. They'll come in a little manila envelope, and I will put padding around them. 
so hopefully they're not smushed. Okay, on with the show. I'm going to start out with a green pepper. I don't know why. Okay, now like I said, the meat's going to be very oily. And there's the garlic in here and the mint. I mean, you can't see the oil on my fingers, probably. Yeah, you can. I'll grab a piece of meat. Hold my skewer up a little bit. I'll get two pieces of meat here. It smells so good. Piece of mushroom. A little bit more meat. There we go. What I'm going to do though is, no, I think that's okay. I do have some rather large pieces of meat. I'm going to cut those in half. The big ones I will. Most of them are small, so it won't be an issue. This is stew beef. I forget where we got it. It's not, a lot of it isn't cubed up like a lot of stew beef you know, that you think will be chunked up. That's fine. Because we layer it, doesn't much matter. Okay. smells good in here. Put green pepper first, then I'm going to put a few pieces of the, the beef. And yes, you can use um, metal skewers if you want. Just use these and toss them when we're done. No fuss, no muss, no mess. Mess? A plus? Something like that? Uh, got all my veggies on there. And the veggie that I'm going to serve with this are some fresh green beans that I took off the ends. And we have a It's not a steamer basket, it's a grill basket. I'll probably take some of this marinade and put on the green beans and while the speedies are out there cooking, we can also, I'll have Daryl put the green beans in the basket. And that'll be dinner. lost track of what I was doing. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I hope everyone that was in the path of Florence are safe. I have watched the news where some of the bridges have collapsed just unreal what Mother Nature herself does. A 
will tell you one thing. This is cold. Easy peasy. We will have the rest of these tomorrow. So I I have enough green peppers cut up. And I do have another thing of mushrooms I can use. And I have tomatoes, so we'll be all okay with that. Like I said, these can be made with lamb chicken, pork. I've had them both with beef and chicken. Beef, skewer with beef and a skewer with uh, chicken. And it's just, it's delicious. more. Trying to wipe some of the spices off on the uh, mushroom. Give it some flavor as it cooks. And this piece of beef is long enough where I could just fold it over. I can do the same one with this one. And one more. This will be my last one for today. rubbing the mushroom into the marinade drippings that are on my cutting board down here. Give the mushroom some flavor. Same thing with the tomato. Uh, there we go. I have six speedies all ready to go. I'm going to roll them in some of this oil and garlic and mint mixture with the rosemary and the fresh basil. So the mushroom and the tomato and the green pepper 
also has the flavor of all this wonderfulness. I hope those that celebrate have a blessed Yom Kippur. Starts tonight at sundown. That's our holiest of our holidays, our Day of Atonement. Um, typically, folks fast 25 hours. If you can't, it's not mandatory. I never could when I was a kid. My, my dad knew it. Uh, I would get sick if I didn't eat something after so many hours. And I'm still to that, I'm still that way to date. But um, we will have challah and the video of that will come out probably tomorrow. And the shish kebabs, which is not normally a, a high holiday meal usually it's chicken or fish. I already had this done up so we're having this tonight. And um, I also will have a video of Lakshan Kugel which I will put out to break the fast. And I'm going to make that, aside from this, just an easy peasy meal. Um, I may not even do shish kebabs tomorrow night. I think what I might do is Lakshan Kugel. I'll have the challah, make, it some, make some bagels or get some bagels, and make some tuna salad, neck salad, maybe some lox. I'll be the only one to eat that. I love lox and cream cheese. So, and you know what I forgot on all of these? I forgot to put a red onion. I think, since I just thought of that, I'm going to go ahead and slice it up some. I knew I would forget something notorious for that. Comes with age. I'll blame it on that. Sounds like a good excuse to me. Haven't heard from Country Girl. She was moving this past weekend. I hope she made it there safe and sound. Well, my hands are greasy, so this the skin's not coming off as well as what I had hoped. Red onion on a bagel with cream cheese and lox. Can't get much better than that. I don't think I can get white fish here. Probably down in Columbus. My mom always had, my mom used to love white fish. Something I grew up on. There we go. And I'll just skewer this on the end of a few of them. Being obstinate, it didn't want to work. 
So I'm going to put those back up on the little cookie sheet that I have that Daryl can carry out to the front porch where the grill is. Mushroom, tomato, green pepper, red onion, marinated beef. Can't get much better than this. Well, I'm sure you could, but to the me, this is just yummy. I've been doing this for over 40 years, so. hand these to Daryl. I think I'll season the green beans and you all have a wonderful evening. Lashana Tova and we'll see you later.